What's good YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art video. In today's video, you guys will be drawing along with me step by step. We're gonna be drawing Hey Arnold from Nickelodeon with our mouse. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button and comment, subscribe so you will be notified every time you boy drop some heat. And without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okay, first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna come up here to our pencil tool. All you gotta do is click this right here. Get out your pencil. Come down here. Make sure you lock this box. Go back to your, your black line. And then let's make sure y'all got y'all settings on mine. So double click the pencil. And we're gonna move our smoothness all the way up. Make sure everything look like mine. Click OK. Okay, let's jump right into it. Okay, the first line we're gonna make is the top of the head shape. So what I want you to do, I want you to make make a heel. Oh wait, let's go back. We're gonna make our brush a little thicker too. So let's go with let's see what five look like. Okay. We're gonna go a little thicker than five. We'll go seven. All right, we're gonna make us a little heel for the head. I think that's good. And then we're gonna make a line coming. We're gonna make a look line coming like this, but not too. We ain't gonna make a deep. We ain't, we ain't gonna put a deep curve in it. We just gonna do one. It's kind of like this. Okay, let me try that one more time. Let's see. Okay, I think that's a that's a pretty good. It's a pretty good head shape. I wish I can grab the point and move it up. Let's see, can we? Yo, we sure can. So enough. We're gonna go back by holding Control Z. You wanna grab your uh your pen tool, and then we're gonna move, hold Control, and we're gonna move this edge a little closer. Move that a little closer. Closer as well. I bet we got the perfect shape for Arnold head. Now what we finna do? Wait, I'm gonna move this a little bit, a little bit more inward. Okay, I think that's perfect. Now we're gonna come over here. Then we're gonna get our get your circle tool out. And we're gonna make like a egg shape for the ears after you get that one you wanna hold control wait not control you wanna hold out you wanna click this arrow tool right here hold out and drag it over Bend it downward. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna hold out again. We're gonna grab the same thing and we're gonna use it to make the eyes. So, but we're gonna make the eyes just a little bigger, a little more wider. While we got it selected, we're gonna drop the size down on the eyes. So let's drop it down to, let's see. Let's drop it down to four. And what you wanna do, you wanna hold out again. And 
and you want to drag this eye over. Uh oh. Control, control Z to, to step back. You want to hold out and drag this eye over with your mouse. Then we're going to move it. That edge so we can bend it kind of. Then you want to hold shift and alt at the same time so we can bring it down the size. Like everything, we're gonna give it a bend in this corner. Yeah. Now what we finna do? We're gonna get our pencil tool back out, and we're gonna draw this nose. So. Our circle tool back out and we're gonna move we're gonna move this to the inside clean up our lines so what you want to do you want to highlight everything you want to come to object expand click ok then you want to go to window go to your pathfinder and click divide and now you want to click this white arrow and we can delete the lines we overshot hit delete twice if it, if it ain't went away fully. Okay, now that we got the face did, what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to our pencil tool. And now it's time to draw this hat. So this hat sit closer to this side. So what we're gonna do, what shape we're gonna draw first? We're gonna draw a dip. And then uh -oh. gotta make sure your color is on the bottom and the top is locked right here. Draw a dip. Make our, make our brush a little bigger. Let's go back to uh, we'll go back to a four. Okay, 
let's try it again. We're gonna draw this dip right here. Then we're gonna draw one connecting right here. Then we're gonna draw the top of the hat. Top of the head. Then we're gonna draw a little a button on the top. The line going through it. Okay, now we got the hat. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna clean that up. <clears throat> so you wanna highlight it. Then you wanna come to expand. Click OK. Then you want to click divide. Then we're going to go back to the white selection right here. different on a separate layer so we're going to go ahead and color this so what you want to do you want to select want to highlight everything want to come back up here to, to object hit expand then you want to click merge on your pathfinder after you do that you want to um drag this layer to this blank sheet of paper to make a copy and lock the top layer I was gonna come over here and find a good skin tone. Okay, I think that's pretty on point. Click OK. Uh oh. Try that one more time. All right. After you find a good color to start with, you want to come to your rectangle tool drag it over everything right click go to arrange send the colors behind the line work then you want to highlight everything once again you want to click merge on your pathfinder then you want to right click onto the color hit isolate select the group then we can delete this and everything that's Every color that's closed off in a certain area, we can color it separate. You wanna click this, hold shift to select more than one thing. We're gonna color that, and we can color this hat. Make that blue, uh-oh. Make sure you don't select the line work. I got this little piece right there, but we can make that black so you can even tell. So there we go. Okay, now that we got the face of Arnold finished, what we're going to do, we're going to add his hair. And the reason we're going to do this on a different layer because his hair line work is a different color. So I wanted to go ahead and put it on his own layer. So what we're going to do. We're gonna give it a, we're gonna look for like a goldish brown. I think that's pretty. I think that's pretty good. What's up, what's up? I'm about to get down okay. After we do that, we're going to create a new layer and we're gonna add it. Wait, we can move it to the top so we can see. You can move it to the very top for now. And now we're going to get our pencil tool back out. And we're going to start creating this here. You want to bring it up close to this hat. And it's over like this. Let's try my best to draw it out without messing up. Oh, 
password. Uh, one, two, two, four. Dang, I messed up. Hold up. Forgot. Make sure your color is on the bottom. Let's switch it to the color we want. And sometimes when you try to change the color and then it's not changing, you gotta reset it by clicking this. And then do it. Color. Now, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to do it one tape, and if not, we're gonna do it step by step. So, now you know what? We ain't gonna do it step by step. You're gonna draw it right here. Oh God, let's make our lines bigger. Do we're gonna do we're gonna do a seven. I'm gonna come right here. We're gonna draw it up. Then we're gonna curve it. We're gonna stop right there. After you do that, you wanna draw you wanna start right here. You wanna start down here. You wanna bring that through. You wanna overshoot it. Then we're gonna start back right up closer. Farther out, and then we're just gonna keep this, keep our lines overshooting. So we can have them sharp points. selection tool then we're gonna hit delete twice then delete all our lines we overshot same thing on the other side but first we're gonna make all these we're gonna make this line these lines one we're gonna go to object expand then you want to click merge so we can make all these lines just one big line so now we got to do the same thing on this side so we're just gonna use the same method get out your pencil tool make sure your, your color is on the bottom and your top is locked. So let's do the same thing we did. Come up here. Let's start it high. Uh-oh. Gotta make sure our brush thickness is on the same thing so we can keep the consistency going. Okay, we're gonna start the line right here. We're gonna go up. Overshoot it. Just keep overshooting your lines. Try this one. Try this one over. Oh, 
highlight everything. Go to object, expand, hit OK. Then you wanna hit divide, white selection tool. Then we're gonna delete all our lines and go with sharp. Now what we're finna do, we're gonna highlight everything. But as you notice, I got my, his head is locked and the line where it's locked so it don't get in the way of what I'm doing with the hair. So let's go to object, expand, click merge. find a color for his hair. I would say let's create a copy of the hair, but no, nah, we don't, we're not adding different shades. So we just gonna leave this one copy up. I'm gonna find a good color for his hair. I think that's pretty good. Get your rectangle tool and you wanna drag it over there. Then you want to right click the color, go to arrange and send to back. After that, you want to select everything and click merge on your pathfinder. And then you want to right click, isolate, select group. And then you want to hit delete on your keyboard. And now we're going to move that layer of hair to the very back. All we got to do is add the little, get our dropper tool. So let this color, this brownish color we made. Get your pencil tool. Then we can do the little, the little lines. Let's see. Make sure your color is on the bottom. I'll make that brush a little bigger, like four. And there you have it, you guys, how to draw Hey Arnold using your mouse. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. More heat coming soon, and I'm out this thing.